Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Creatures of Scenaria. Now today what we are going to be doing since the new update came out, they have a new mission system. As you can see they have daily missions, kill three players, join a pack of five players, nest in a player, raise them, and you get some shrooms so that's nice. There's easier ways of getting more shrooms instead of just playing. That was definitely a feature that needed to be added because that's something that a lot of people have been asking for for a while now. Now, what we're going to be doing today is trying to get the new creature, Yanasha. A uh, very pretty looking creature. So, as you can see, experience a rainstorm that simply is just playing the game. That will happen at some point. It's, it's bound to happen. And then eat sea... So basically today we're going to be playing a semi-aquatic. Um, we have to eat sea kelp as a semi-aquatic, so we're going to have to be at least an omnivore, if not an herbivore. And then travel 15,000 studs underwater and then nest yourself for another player. Okay, so here we are in-game. Semi-aquatic, aren't we just adorable? Uh, we have a little tail nub. Just a little tail nub. We're gonna run all the way into the water immediately because that's what we want. We need to find plants down here. As everything loads in, there's another player there. Uh, that's a carnivore. We're not going to go that way. We're going to go away from the carnivores. We're just going to swim, let everything catch up and load up, because apparently the servers are having issues for me today. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's right. They redid the, uh, the ocean. This is a completely revamped underwater world. They also, oh, wow. They also updated the map a little bit, too. They added the dunes. They extended the plant. Oh, wow, okay. Cool. They even changed some of the water patches up top. The swamp looks a bit different. The tundra seems a little extended as well. That's interesting. We'll definitely have to check that out too, thankfully, since we're a semi-aquatic. Now, I do believe this right here, yes it is, it's our creature mission. So we've already traveled a good distance of... Uh, what we need to to unlock this character. Uh, we just need to eat sea kelp, which is something we can do right now. So, bam, eat sea kelp done. We need a rainstorm, and just travel more underwater, and then we just need to be an adult so we can nest, and we will have that new character, We will or the new creature, mind me. Look, there's a rain right there. Look at that. So, I don't know if it means, like, a thunderstorm as a rainstorm, or if this is a rainstorm, because it's just rain. So, hopefully, either it'll come up whenever uh, the rain finishes, or it won't. I don't... We'll see. We'll see how that works. But, other than that, what we're going to do is probably go back underwater. I do want to go over here. And I don't want to travel on land, because, you know, we're semi-aquatic, and we need more distance traveled underwater anyways. So we're just going to go over this way. And we're going to try and make it to the dunes from the underwater, if they have a path to it. Most of the big water sources are all connected at some point. At least they used to. I'm not entirely sure how this map's going to handle that. This is going somewhere. I don't know if it's... It's definitely not going the place I want it to. I'm going to turn around. Let's see here. Let's see. We might have to use the above ground. That's not that fun. I didn't want to have to go above ground. Okay, look, yeah. So that did count off, so that's good. We already have that done. We are just currently traveling. It's going up pretty quick. I wonder how fast it goes up when it couple hundred. That's not going to take long at all. It's like 110 or so. Definitely more than that. Okay. Honestly, was expecting this, uh, getting this creature to be a little harder than it turns out to be. Which I'm alright with. That makes me happy. All these other creatures down here are definitely doing the same thing to get this, uh, new creature. I don't really know if that's the new creature or not, honestly. Fur clicks and no, it's not. We got that dude. I also uh, went into the trade world 
and traded off our Vinru for three creatures. One of them being Alicious, which that uh, that I just got rid of. I didn't need another one. Um, but the other two, one of them, I forget what it's called, but they're both limited, like limited edition type things. They're they've been removed from the game and they're badge rewards, old badge rewards. One of them I remember playing the creature on Xbox. Uh, back, like, maybe a year or two ago, honestly. It, it's been a, it's been a while since I played my Xbox when it comes to Creatures of Scenaria, but, uh, we're gonna go over here and check out the dunes. This looks different than it was last time, so I don't know if they changed the Hot Springs area or not. I honestly kinda hope they did. Look at all these ravines. Because I didn't like the the vibe from it. No one ever really went here. It still like it still looks like no one does. But it is a nice little like community area. You could have a large variety of creatures like living here in like a peaceful ecosystem type thing. There's different caves of different sizes. Like and there's water in the bottom. I assume more caves down there. Let's see, I'm stuck on a tree. Yeah there is. There's a whole cave system down here. With lights and all, look at that. That would be cool. This would be a cool area to make, uh, just like a little community. Bring a eight-person pack here. Is this a little exit? Would you look at that? They even have a ground exit. A little escape tunnel. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh. Wow. I don't think I've ever actually been on the outside of the map in the water. I didn't really think it looked like that. Uh oh. Can I get back? Oh no. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, we're good. That would have sucked if I got stuck down there and could not get out. We're 19, getting close. Er, not really that close, but we're halfway to our first growth, so. Trying to stay positive, you know. We're just going to go back underwater and keep swimming, I guess. We need to uh, we need to make quite the distance, so let's just get to that. And I'll cut it back to whenever we age up, and I'm just going to be swimming for a little bit. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Alright, look at that. We aged up. We still need one more age up until we can nest. We also have completed the 15,000 studs. That happened way before I grew up, so that was uh, that was something. Uh, let's see. Use creature ability. I don't think we have a creature ability on this character. Um, place a nest or food storage. That's going to end up happening anyways. Let's see, kill three players, join a pack, yeah, unlock a new creature species, roll for a creature gotcha once, purchase and own a plushie and equip it in your creature. Now, I actually don't have it. What is that? Is that mud? Why is there mud down here? Yeah, that's mud. That's definitely mud. Well, I hit our scent. No one can smell us. I wonder what that's about, sitting just a pile of mud floating in the middle of the ocean. Makes perfect sense. Um, so yeah, basically all that's going to happen now is I'm going to just wait until we are an adult so we can nest, and then we will hatch out a little a mini us, and that'll be the quest complete. So that definitely will be coming soon. It won't be maybe five, six, maybe eight minutes longer, I think. So, yeah, it's not going to take too long. Uh, but I will definitely cut back when, if anything interesting happens, or whenever we age up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are really close to aging up to an adult. We are age 62. He should age up at like 63 or 64. Um, we're just going to, honestly, kind of like this. I was going to say, we're going to look around for... A good place to set our nest. This seems to be a decent place. It's nice and sheltered. That's what we like. Uh, we are 63. It should only be a few more seconds before we, uh, or a few more minutes before we age up. 
we're good on food, we're good on thirst, even though we're underwater. Uh, there is a big dude over here. Once I age up, we might be able to take him. I'm not entirely sure, though. Well, this character isn't really meant for fighting, but I can't remember if those give shrooms or not. Because I, I do know that there's different versions of those large sharks, and they tend to be pretty rare to come across some of them. Um, so I don't remember if they added it to where, like, you know, you get anything from killing them aside from the giant chunk of food. Which, if you're playing a carnivore, is rather helpful, but today we are not playing a carnivore. At least not yet. I don't know if the new creature is an omnivore or what, but we'll see. We're not too far away from finding out ourselves. Any second now we should age up, and it's raining again. Come on, buddy. I know you want to grow up, right? You want to be a... You want to... There we go. She wants to be a mother. Alright, so we're going to run over here. And we are just going to plop down a nest. Can we... Okay, we can't do it underwater. It's good to know. So we're just going to swim up here. And find a little cave to uh, plop our butts down in. Oh, wow. Alright. Big glowing dude. Running away from that. What's this? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to fit through that. Let's see here. What about this? Oh yeah, this is definitely doable. We'll just do it right here. Plop that nest down. That has to get to 100. And then we'll be able to hatch it out and have our new creature. So that is quite exciting. We're pretty much already there. All we have to do is wait a tiny bit longer to get that egg hatched. And then get some random person to accept the uh, the nesting. And that should count it for us. Because thankfully we don't have to wait until they grow up. It's just nest yourself or another player. Now that also should have counted for this. Um, creature ability that we have is a mud pile. And I don't think... That is what it wants. So, that's probably going to have to be like uh, Luxus in his invisibility or uh, any of the flyers in their, their spray. So, I'm assuming that's what it wants from me for that. But we might also, because I know there is one other, where was it? That one's too difficult. Um. Oh yeah, this one right here. Purchase your own plushie. So, we'll probably go into the trading world and buy a plushie, because I, like I said earlier, have yet to even have a plushie. So, we do have some some mush to spend. So, that won't be an issue there. And it is winter, so we're going to be moving slower. Uh, thankfully, these drain slower, I do believe, as well. So, that's helpful. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to kind of chill out and wait until we can uh, wait until we can hatch this dude out. So I will catch you guys back whenever the egg's at 100%. See you guys then. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We have just reached 100%, so we're just going to start inviting everyone and see if someone actually accepts. There we go, we got one. What do you know? So that should be that it for that. Look at there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to exit out. We're going to go check out this new creature. Sorry for this dude. Who, uh, yeah, he, he logged out too. I don't think he wanted that creature. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that ACO. And... I don't know if we already have it unlocked or if we have to... Oh, yeah, we do. Right here. So it's another herbivore. Cloud breath. Zero DPS. Like, water regeneration, mud generation. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the trade world, actually, because I wanted to go and buy a plushie. All right. So now that we have loaded in, let's see. We have... Okay, that's way too much. Can't get that. They have a few different... Uh, plushy 
like, vending machines you can choose from. No one of them is cheaper. Okay, we'll just do the big plushie. An ocean wing plushie. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and leave the trade realm. That's all we needed for that quest. That quest... That's one of the pieces for the quest. After that, we have to unlock a new creature. I don't know if the creature we got uh, from doing the missions counts, but we'll check. He only takes 10 minutes, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, I'm not going to customize it. I'm going to leave it the same. We're just going to jump right into gameplay and go from there. Now, this is an herbivore. This is a really pretty creature so far. I love the tail. It looks like clouds. We don't have our running animation loaded in yet. We're also in Desert Oasis, which is not where I want to be. Now, I am curious to see this creature if it is a semi-aquatic as well. Because, I mean, if we had to play a semi- Okay, it is. If we had to play a semi-aquatic to unlock this creature, and this creature was not a semi-aquatic, I think that'd be a little ridiculous. But yeah, so this is the new creature. This is definitely something different and unique, something that they haven't made yet. Um, I do believe there is another creature that has been added. I'm not 100% sure, or if it was just being teased. But, uh, oh wow, there's another shark. What do you know? I really don't know if those sharks are rare or not. I really don't, because I heard one thing in one video saying that they were rare, but I've seen one in almost every server I've played. So yeah, uh, I don't really know what is the, what that's about, but either way, I'll just leave it be. Uh, oh yeah, use creature ability. I wish there were more creature missions, because I know there's more creatures that you can unlock with missions. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why those haven't loaded onto that. Look at that. First age up. Already. We gained some, uh, some extra hair. This is our taunt, by the way. Very nice, uh, animation. I'll just do a little kick. This is our sit. Very quaint. Oh, look. Feet sit out. Very, uh, very polite. This is our uh, cover in mud, so this is what, yeah, just kind of ro rolling around, nothing too special. And this is our cower, all tucking our head behind our tail, so cute. I really do like the colors and the combinations of colors on this creature. I like the blue with the pink and purple. It's a very light pink, too, so it's kind of like whitish, but it's not, it, it's nice, I like it a lot. We're going to run over here and eat some berries, because why not? We're a pretty creature, eating some pretty berries. I mean, look at those things. They have stars on them. Who wouldn't th look at those and think they look appetizing? There's another person over here. Oh, okay. That dude isn't loaded in, but he looks large. Very... He has a lot of glimmer items, too. That's cool. I like the colors. We're going to go ahead and just swim around. We're just waiting. We should age up to uh, adult here in a second. So, yeah, let's see what that will look like. Uh, not entirely sure what's going to change. I know he gets a... Yeah, okay. He just gets a lot more fluff. Look at that. So now we're capable of uh, using our breath. Let's see. We can also change the weather. Try again in five minutes. So here is our breath. This is a cloud breath, I believe. And I did not know that... Okay, so we'll try that. We'll see if we can actually uh, make it rain. Because that, yeah, that's what it looks like it's telling me I can do. So we'll check that out in a couple minutes and see if that is possible. Other than that, what was, let's see, the mission right here. Daily missions. Bam. Did I already get it? I think so. Okay, I'll just go with the fact that I claimed it. There's no, like, 
alert that you did it and completed it. So I think that should be something to look into for the developers. I definitely already like the mission system a lot. I hope they do more with the creature missions and add more creatures that you can unlock through missions. Also show those hidden missions for creatures to unlock. There's a lot of creatures you can unlock, but like if you're a, I think it was a tier 3 flyer. Um, if you're a tier 3 flyer or higher and you get while it's uh, any type of weather events going on like an extra like a volcano or a thunderstorm or a tornado if you have someone like breathe on your tier 3 flyer until they're 30 percent health you unlock i forget who it is but you unlock another flyer um i'm not entirely sure if those are still active in that sense but i i'm going to assume that they are because i don't see a good reason for them to take that out i really don't um, but yeah, we're gonna go check out Desert Oasis and see if anyone's being nice today. I don't know if anyone is, because I keep seeing KOS in chat, which is not a, uh, motivational sign. But we'll check it out anyways. We'll, we'll take a little spin. Test our luck. Alright, here we are. Desert Oasis. Hello, party people. It's Party Central up in here. I already see some people falling from the sky. There's a Solaritas or something like that. Oh, and a Lux. What do you know? A Lux isn't predatory? How not? Uh, that doesn't make much sense to me, honestly. Oh, there's another S. Is that us making that noise? Wow. Holy crap. That's terrifying. Holy crap. We sound like a whale, not gonna lie. I mean, I like it. That's intimidating, though. I didn't expect those noises to come from this pretty creature. Okay, it does not look like we got any glimmer. Um, which sucks, but I didn't really expect to get any glimmer on this character, or on this creature. Um, so yeah. But what we're going to do is... We have 77 more... Oh, crap. Looks like... I don't know if I... We're gonna be able to do it because it's already raining. We'll see. We got seventy. We got a minute and some odd seconds left until we can try our Q ability. I'm pretty sure it's gonna bring rain or maybe heavy winds, something. Cause I mean this is a cloud creature, so it would make sense for it to bring heavy winds, right? If only it could fly. I really do like my flying creatures. I will say that much. Oh well, look, there's a Venru right there. That's what we uh, grew up in the last episode. That's also what I traded for a few creatures. Well worth the trade, in my opinion. Got a pretty nice flyer that will probably be growing up in the next episode. Uh, so do look out for that. I'm not going to reveal what it is yet, but it is one of the uh, limited badge reward creatures that was from a while ago. So do look forward to that. Um, we got 11 more seconds. It's getting closer. Five, oh, five, four, three, two, one. Dang it. Okay, so we can't change it for another five minutes. I do definitely think it just calls down the rain. Um, but that is going to be it for the video today. I thank you all for watching. Uh, definitely come check out and get this new creature. It's really easy, really simple. It took me maybe 30, 40 minutes to get it. So definitely hop on, get this free creature just for doing literally nothing, um, and enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And remember, shine bright, neon bright.